Good morning, world, and good morning, everyone. Welcome to our channel, EO's Marketplace News. This is Alex at your service. Now, for today, I will be giving you the price analysis for some cryptocurrencies, okay? That will be for October 22 or 22nd. All right, so before I give you the information, um, I would like to remind everyone again that we here in EO's Marketplace News, we are not financial advisors. So we will not be giving you some advices. We are just here to give you the current updates and news or information that you need. All right, so um, we highly recommend, guys, that you do your own research about the tokens or coins that we already mentioned or that we will be mentioning in our videos. And you can decide afterwards, right? I am sure, I am pretty sure that you will be agreeing me on that idea because I will not be deciding for you, right? You can decide for yourself. That's the best. All right. So, guys, let's proceed to the news. Um, this is brought to us by PCN, Preferred Currency News. You can visit the site, pcn.today. All right. Now, let me give you the details. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, and Tron. So this will be their price analysis for October 22nd. Okay, I have given in my past videos um, the price analysis for such currencies. So if you want to check them out, you can check in this um, channel. Just look for the price analysis, all right, videos, so, so that you can compare, all right? Okay, let's start. Now, Hmm. Here, the Financial Action Task Force, or FATF, a global anti-money laundering supervisory body, will set up rules to monitor cryptocurrencies by June of 2019 or next year. This is a welcome step that will create uniform regulations and reduce the use of virtual currencies for money laundering and terrorism financing. In 2017, and Early this year, 2018, Bitcoin's volatility was a hot topic. It was cited as one of the key deterrents in the mass adoption of cryptocurrencies. Fast forward to the last quarter of 2018, this year, and the 20-day historical vo uh, volatility of Bitcoin has fallen to 31.5%, below that of top stocks like Amazon, Netflix, and NVIDIA, NVIDIA Corp, whose HV is 35%, 52%, and 40% respectively. It's... Um, is this the new normal or just the calm before the storm? Only time can answer that. So let's study the charts and identify the key levels that will determine whether the cryptocurrencies will continue their downfall or enter a trend reversal. So let's find it out. For the first currency, um, BTC and USD. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin dipped below the moving average on October 19, but the bears could not capitalize on the fall. As the price climbed back up the next day, the 20-day EMA is flat, while the 50-day SMA is gradually sloping down. The RSI is at the midpoint. All the indicators and the price action suggest a state of equilibrium between the buyers and the sellers. So, as you can see, this this is the BTC and USD chart, right? All right. So, moving forward. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? All right. Now, if the bears break below 6,500, the fall can extend to 6,200. The critical event on the downside is the support zone of 5,900 up to 6,075.04 dollars. If this breaks, we anticipate the panic selling that can result in a steep decline. 
so guys that's for bitcoin and usd so volumes have dropped and there is no confident trading either from the bulls or the bears we have to wait for either party to make a decisive move until then sluggish range bound action is likely to continue traders who own long positions can keep a protective stop at five thousand nine hundred dollars so guys be careful all right for bitcoin users be careful next eth and usd or ethereum ethereum continues to trade below both moving averages which is a negative sign it can now slide to the first support at 192.5 dollars below which a retest of the september 12 low of 167.32 dollar is probable all right so here 32 322 up so from here and here 200 something okay on the upside if the ethereum and usd pair breaks out the moving averages it can reach the top of the 192.5 to 249.93 dollar range that's good the digital currency will become positive if it can scale up to 250 dollars so if the bull sustain above the range a rally to 322 dollars is a probable we can find any setups as long as the price remains inside the range so hoping we hope for ethereum users next xrp and usd the bears have successfully defended the 20-day ema for the past four days ripple can now correct to the 50-day sma which might act as a support wow if the bears break below the 50-day sma the xrp or usd pair can drop to 0.37185 dollars on the upside a break and close that's utc time frame above the 20-day ema can carry prices to 0.5 dollars 0.55 dollars and further to 0.625 dollars we couldn't find any reliable buy setups at the current levels hence we are not suggesting any trades in the pair noted all right for ripple users we couldn't find any reliable buy setups at the current levels hence we are not suggesting any trades in the pair okay now bch or usd and usd bitcoin cash bitcoin ca cash is struggling to bounce off the support line of the symmetrical triangle um the price has failed to raise above the 20-day ema which is a bearish uh, bearish sign both moving averages are sloping down at the rsi is also in the negative territory this shows that the bears have an upper hand all right a bear uh, a, a breakdown of the triangle and the september 11 intraday low of 408.0182 dollars will res um, will resume the downtrend pushing the price to the next support at 300 dollars therefore traders can keep a stop loss at 400 dollars on their existing long positions the bch and usd pair will show signs of a pullback if it breaks out of the triangle right EOS and USD. EOS has been stock close to $5.5 for the past six days. Both moving averages are flat and the RSI is close to the neutral territory. This shows that the consolidation might continue for a few more days. All right, the EOS and USD pair will indicate a trend reversal if it breaks out of $6.8299. If the price sustains above the range, a rally to $9 is probable. On the downside, if the bears break down of $4.4930, a retest of $3.8723 will be on the cards. The traders can protect their long positions with a stop loss at $4.9. Okay, take note guys. 
XLM and USD. Stellar has been trading close to the downtrend line of the descending triangle for the past four days, but has failed to break out uh, to break out out it. Currently, it is trading above both moving averages, which are sloping up. So this is a positive sign. All right, a breakout of the triangle can propel the XLM and USD pair to $0.36 with a minor resistance at $0.3. Therefore, the traders can initiate a long position on a close, that's UTC time frame again, above $0.27, which is just above the intraday high of October 15. So if the bears defend the downtrend line and sink the price below, the moving averages, the digital currency, can slide to the lower support zone of $0.184 to $0.2. All right, LTC and USD, guys. Litecoin. Litecoin has been gradually sliding towards the bottom of the range of $49.466 up to $69.279. Both moving averages are sloping down and the RSI is in the negative territory, which is a bearish sign. A breakdown of the range will resume the downtrend and can plunge the LTC and USD pair to the next lower support at $40. The virtual currency will show first signs of a trend reversal if it breaks out of $69.279 and sustains above. Following the breakout, the price can rally to the next overhead resistance at $94. The trader should wait for a confirmed breakout before initiating any long positions. ADA or USD, both moving averages and the price of Cardano are bunched close to each other with hardly any movement in the past three days. The virtual currency is stuck in a large range of 0 0.060105 to 0 0.094256 dollars. All right. So if the bulls push the price above the moving averages and 0 0.083 dollars, a rally to the overhead resistance of 0 0.094256 is probable. On the downside, a break below 0 0.069 dollars can sink the pair to the critical support of 0 0.060105 with the ADA and USD pair trading close to the midpoint of the range we couldn't find any reliable buy setups and the current levels xmr and usd so guys monero has held the 104 dollars mark for the past four days and is currently attempting to climb above the 20-day ema if it rises above both moving averages it can move up to $128.65. We hope. So if the XMR and USD pair rebounds for the 20-day EMA, it can slide to $100, um, which will act as a strong support as this level has held on two previous occasions. The flattening moving averages point to a consolidation. However, if the bears break below a $100 a drop to $81 is likely. All right. So have you taken notes or have you um, listened to the anal price analysis of the current um, currencies? Right. So lastly, TRX and USD pair. So Tron continues to trade near the 20-day EMA, the intraday range has shrunk dramatically in the past three days, which shows a lack of both buying and selling interest among the market participants. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Now, the TRX and USD pair will make its next move after it breaks out and sustains above the top of the current range of 0 0.0183 to 0 0.028155211 dollars. 
as the cryptocurrency has been trading inside this range for more than two months we anticipate the breakout to carry it to the next overhead resistance of 0 0.04158193 so the traders can buy on a close that's tell UTC time frame guys above 0 0.03 dollars keeping the initial stop loss at 0 0.02 dollars so if the bears push the price below the support of 0 0.0183 dollars the next target on the downside is 0 0.0084479 all right <coughs> excuse me so guys that's the latest um, price analysis for these um, following cryptocurrencies I hope that you have taken down notes so that you can compare or you have um, watched the other videos so that you can compare the price analysis okay and I hope that you listen to this video because um, it is very important if maybe um, you are planning to invest into something right so by this you will know what to do next okay you can decide for your next move all right so guys that's the um, price analysis for today again this is brought to you by PCN referred currency news now if you want to be the first one to get notified of the new updates guys if you subscribe to preferred cur um, cur um, currency dot news you will have a copy a day ahead okay all you need to do is to visit preferredcurrency.news and go here all right you can go here you can just click this link if you subscribe if you want to use your PayPal for monthly recurring that's only $15 okay that's only $15 per month fiat or if you want to use the coinbase option that then you can click this link and it's only 180 okay again 180 that's annual subscription of course to be paid with your favorite cryptocurrency all right okay so guys the advantage of this one if you will subscribe uh, just imagine you will invest just $15 okay just $15 and you can have all these informations ahead of time okay now um, just by subscribing you can have a copy of all the news and updates a day ahead okay a day ahead of our videos so meaning um, you will start getting newsletters in via email every day and then if you want you can just also check our channel it's EOS marketplace news then you can see the videos and you can compare oh I've already read this one right so that's the advantage you will be the first one to get notified okay now if you will visit this site and if you are not still um you are not so sure if you will subscribe or not but I hope you will okay you can contact Donald Lewis all his information or contact information is available on the website but be sure to give your name your email address subject is not um, required or it's just optional and of course your message and then just hit send all right so what are you waiting for subscribe now right okay so guys that has been the price analysis for today thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy and i hope that you will watch and you will subscribe in our channel and in our website thank you so much this is alex signing off bye